Hey there everyone, welcome back to Sources Classes. I am Radhima and we are here solving ACET June 2023 question paper. So in front of you is question number 26. Okay, so let us read the question. If E and F are independent events such that probability of P is P and probability of F is equal to twice of probability of E. And probability that exactly one of E and F occurs is 5 by 9. So we have to find out the possible values values of p. So इससे पहले कि हम इसका आंसर डिसाइड करें पहले क्वेश्चंस में जो भी इनफॉरमेशन दिया हुआ है उसको लिख लेते हैं ना तो जैसे कि probability of e is equals to p, probability of f is equals to twice of that probability e मतलब कि 2p, okay? अतः यहाँ पे एक और इनफॉरमेशन दिया हुआ है कि e and f जो है इंडिपेंडेंट है तो probability of e intersection f हमारा क्या हो जाएगा probability of e into probability of f क्योंकि ये दोनों इवेंट्स क्या है इंडिपेंडेंट ओके नेक्स्ट जो हमारे पास इंफॉर्मेशन है वो है प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट एट लीस्ट वन ऑफ e एंड f ऑकर्स इज 5 बाय 9 सो एट लीस्ट वन ऑफ e एंड f ऑकर्स को हम लोग कैसे लिख सकते हैं इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट इज प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ e इंटरसेक्शन f कॉम्प्लीमेंट प्लस प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ e कॉम्प्लीमेंट इंटरसेक्शन f ये जो लिखा है हमने इसका मतलब ये हो जाता है कि Exactly one of E and F occurs. Okay, so this is equal to five by nine. That is what we are given. Now, interesting fact is that we know from independent events uh, properties of independent events. If E and F are independent, then E and F complement will be independent. E complement and F will be independent as well. Okay. That means since these two are independent, so these events are also independent. So hence we can write down probability of E into probability of F complement plus probability of E complement into probability of F. That is, is equal to 5 by 9. Okay. Now if we put the values and solve this equation, we will uh, calculate the value of P. Okay. So we have P E, uh, probability of E is P then probability of E complement will be 1 minus E, right? Similarly, if probability of F is 2P, then probability of F complement will be 1 minus 2P, okay? So, let me uh, calculate the question 26 here, okay? Because we don't have space here, so I will use this. So, um, yeah. So, we are going to write it down here. So, probability of E is P. Probability of F complement is 1 minus 2P. Plus, probability of E complement is again 1 minus P. And probability of F is 2P. Okay, so this equation is equal to 5 by 9. Now let us solve this. Um, so this is p minus 2p square plus 2p minus 2p square. So it's equal to 5 by 9. Now this is 3p minus 4p square is equal to 5 by 9. Okay. So from here if we uh, write down uh, the quadratic equation. So let me clear this space. So we have uh, 4p square minus 3p plus 5 by 9 is equal to 0. Let us take LCM that is 36p square minus 27p plus 5 is equal to 0. Right? Now, so after uh, taking middle term, we will find the following result that is p is equal to uh, 1 by 3 or 5 by 12. Okay? So, our correct option is D. Okay. Now, quickly let us clear the space for us to solve question number 27. Right. So, um, question number 27 here, we are given probability density function fx. And we have to calculate the mean, median and mode of the distribution. So, uh, this distribution can be written in this form, right? Fx is equal to 1 by 2 root 2 pi 
e to the power minus okay there is a minus here right 1 by 2 into 2 square right that is 4 into 2 8 and in bracket this is x minus 20 x plus 100 so this is a square minus 2 into x into 10 plus 10 square right that is x minus 10 whole square so uh, x minus 10 whole square okay and x uh, lies between minus infinity to infinity so if we compare this with this 1 by sigma root 2 pi e to the power minus half x minus mu by sigma whole square so this is our normal distribution correct that means this given pdf is as follows normal distribution okay that is x here x follows normal distribution with mean mu is here 10 mu is 10 comma 2 is sigma so 2 square sigma square so this is our pdf or distribution here so this is normal distribution that means for normal distribution mean is equals to median is equals to mode so since mean is 10 therefore median is equals to mode is equals to 10 so our correct answer is option b 10 comma 10 comma 10 right now let's move on to question number 28 okay let us scroll down a bit and here is question number 28 now uh, in the question number 28, we have to find out, so we are given a probability density function PDF and uh, it is given that mode of this PDF is 2. So, we have to find out the value of lambda. Now, what is mode? Mode is that value of x for which fx is maximum. So, here we have to uh, calculate, basically we have to solve maximization of fx. So, first order condition is equal to 0. So, for maximization of fx, f dash x is equal to 0. This is our criteria for maximization. So, we have to take the first order derivative of fx. What is our fx? fx given is equal to 1 by lambda square x e to the power minus x by lambda. Okay. Now, let us take the derivative. Okay. This is uv rule. We are uh, uh, taking derivative with respect to x. So, first of all, 1 by lambda square remains. Okay x let's say x also remains so e to the power minus x by lambda into minus 1 by lambda okay plus 1 by lambda square e to the power minus x by lambda into 1 that is x is equal to 1 so this is equal to 0 okay so uh, now here we are going to find the value of x that will be mode right so if we simplify this First of all, this is 1 by lambda square and we have e to the power minus. Okay, let us take 1 by lambda square into e to the power minus x by lambda as common. So, we have x plus 1 equals to 0. Correct? So, we have one lambda as well, right? Since this lambda. After taking uh, 1 by lambda square e to the power minus x by lambda as common, we have x by minus x by lambda plus 1. That is equal to 0. Okay. So, this part cannot be 0, then definitely this part is going to be 0. So, minus x by lambda plus 1 is equal to 0. So, from here we have x is equal to lambda. Now, we know x is uh, the value of mode here, right? Maximum value of x here. So, this is equal to 2. That means the value of lambda is equal to 2, which is option A. So, option A is the correct answer. Okay. Next. Uh, question in front of us is question number 29. Now, question number 29, um, here it is given the lifetime x in years of a memory chip in a laptop computer has the distribution with probability density function fx is equal to uh, 1 by 8 uh, x into e to the power minus x square by 16. So, this is a PDF that is given. Okay. The probability that a memory will not fall, that not fail before 6 years. That means, here we are talking about 6 to infinity range and this is PDF so we have to find out the probability so that is nothing but 6 to infinity fx dx 
which is equal to 6 to infinity 1 by 8 x e to the power minus x square by 16 dx. Now, uh, let y is equal to um, x square by 16. So, dy is equal to 2x by 16 dx. That is 8. So, which means dx is equal to dy into 8 by x. Let us substitute the values here. So, this is, is equal to 6 to infinity um, 1 by 8 x e to the power minus y and in place of dx let us write down dy 8 by x so this is very clear that all these terms gets cancelled that is 8 and 8 gets cancelled x and x gets cancelled oh and again this uh, limit will also get changed since y is equal to x square by 16 so when x is uh, 6 so y is 36 by 16 so let us change it to 36 by 16 to infinity that means, uh, so simplified version is 36 by 16 to infinity e to the power minus y dy. Okay. So, obviously, integration of this will remain e to the power y within the interval 36 by 16 to infinity. So, uh, now 36 by 16 is basically 2.25. Okay. This 36 by 16 is 2.25. That means the answer is e to the power minus 2.25. That is the uh, answer. So, option D is the correct answer. Next question. Question number 30. The number of chocolate chips in a certain type of cookie have a Poisson distribution. The probability that a cookie of this type contain at least one chocolate chip is 1 minus e to the power minus 42. Okay. So, what is, uh, so what are the um, information given? First of all, it is Poisson distribution. So, fx is equals to lambda e to the power minus lambda by x factorial. This is the distribution. Now, the probability that a cookie of this type contain at least one cookie, at least one cookie or more than that, right? That is probability of x is greater than or equal to 1. That is 1 minus e to the power minus 4.2, okay? Now, you have to find out the probability that a randomly selected cookie contains exactly one chocolate chip. That is probability of x is equal to 1 is how much, okay? Uh, P of x is equal to 0 is equal to basically 1 minus probability of x greater than equal to 1 which is, is equal to 1 of minus of this whole thing. So that is e to the power minus 4.2. Now this is very clear from here that lambda is equal to uh, 4.2. Therefore when probability of x is equal to 1 that is here x is equal to 1 then we will have 4.2 e to the power minus 4.2 by 1 factorial. So the answer is 4.2 into e to the power minus 4.2 which is this, that is answer C, option C is the correct answer.